Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And Obi, the store, the kind of a lifestyle outdoor store, is diversifying their product line. And one of the things they're expanding into is the touring bike packing section, um, where they're producing some different um, bike packing containers, panniers, trunk bag, handlebar bag, toolkits, etc. And I thought I'd show a couple of these. I was curious about them. Bike packing is is you know, kind of a rage now, and it's also maybe like what we used to call touring. I look at bike packing as more leaning towards, you know, the mountain bike being used for touring, whereas regular bicycle touring is kind of the road bike used for touring. But bike packing is a big thing, um, kind of almost like, uh, you know, hiking the Appalachian Trail now in some, some cases where people are doing continental divide rides from Canada to Mexico. Um, I happen, happen to live on the, uh, um, on the Great Divide Trail, so I see a lot of bike packers come through from around the world. Um, but anyway, I was curious about this gear like this, um, because many times bike packing gear is just uh, surprisingly expensive. In fact, for an example, um, this Ortley bag right here, made in Germany, this watertight frame bag, I absolutely love it, but it's $170 just for that little bag right there. On the other hand, um, this Sahu PVC single pannier that um, is one of uh, Obi's offerings, you know, is a 10 liter pannier um, and it's 12 bucks on sale. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Um, it does have a, a roll top just like a dry bag and that dry bag closure um, is essentially the same as a, um, you know, what you might use as a, a river dry bag, rafting or something. Um, so it works just fine. I'm in a fairly cold outdoors at the moment. Lock that down. It does have uh, an attachment point here. If I didn't like the way it was attaching to the rack, I could just run a bungee here um, or just any cord down and around. Um, another Sahu out here, this is a little trunk bag. This um, is a seven liter bag. Um, and it also doubles easily as a um, shoulder bag, which is kind of nice. Um, and the way they've got this attached through the Velcro uh, to this rack, um, you can see, you know, it's on there, rock solid. I can just pop these Velcro straps off, clip in my um, shoulder strap, and I've got a day bag for, you know, walking around uh, wherever I am on a bike tour. Um, up in the front end, um, I've got a... Uh, handlebar bag and this is more just as a test right here plus that old light there but um, it's it's a two liter front end bag with lots of storage administration side pockets um, and these things the, the funny thing is the price i told you this one on sale it's about 12 uh 12 dollars which is kind of shocking um the front or the trunk bag back here they make a couple of different sizes, but that one's on sale for around $19. I mean, that's that's kind of crazy. Remember, the, the Ortlieb over here is $170. So um, you're getting the uh, pannier if you wanted for, you can get into one, you know, for 12. Obviously, it's going to cost you, you know, twice as much for two. But depending on your riding, you may not want one, more than one. Um, another thing that they have that they're selling is a uh, a tool kit now of course there's a tool channel and i like tools um, but this is 13 bucks to get into a tool kit now is it my choice for a long distance no but if you are starting out and you don't know what to get and you're not sure and you want to play around and you know kind of refine that's a it's a great start comes with a small pump um, it does it does work um, you know usually when i see inexpensive pumps i look away. I don't know if you could go much over probably 80 pounds just simply because of the diameter. Um, you know, I struggled with it at about 50, 60, but that's plenty for the standard bike packing tires. Um, and you don't want to hopefully ever use it, but you do need one usually. Um, but anyway, it's a, it's a great option um, if you're just starting out. It's an inexpensive way to get into this because it's a very expensive sport if you uh, aren't sure what you're doing. So anyway, I'm out here in my frozen garage in the middle of winter, um, getting ready for the spring. So I've got, you know, lots of bicycles lined up. Um, if they're in the garage, they're the, 
they're the ones that um, need the work right now. But um, anyway, I've got the links below if you are playing with any kind of bike packing stuff um, or you're interested in, in um, kind of tricking out the bike a little bit more. Um, it's a good place to start and then you can dial it in and then spend the big dollars when you figure out exactly what you need. Anyway, with that, Doc out.